Why do you have to do it? Why can't he tell me? Because he's a coward. She's going to be devastated. Yeah, of course she is, yeah. He promised her to be home by Christmas Eve. He promised us all, in fact. Mm. Oh, uh, there you are. Oh. Where you been? None of your business. Oh, yeah, OK. I saw nothing. Mm. Steve's not coming home for Christmas. Apparently Andy's broke his leg, and not for the first time, either. Steve's leg? No, Andy's leg. He broke his own leg, you know, painting the ceiling of the bar. Uh, right, they expect you to believe that? Well, mm. he's got to stay and open it on Christmas Eve, apparently, and he can't afford not to. And she's got to break it to Amy. Yeah, wish me luck. Mm, you think you need luck? I've got to go to the garden centre and choose a Christmas tree. Oh, have fun. <laughs> Come on. Oh. OK, heads is yes, tails is no. Uh, you do it. OK. Carla, I was under the impression that you were steering clear of gambling. Oh, right, it's not gambling, it's, it's a ping-pong evasion. Ping-pong? Evasion. Yeah, she don't want to play in that factory tournament thingy. Ah, oh, so the bromance bonding. I mean, I think you should just, you know, hammer out a deal and sign a contract. Hey. Oh, damn it. When is this tournament? Tonight. I was hoping to use Madame here as an excuse. I'm working, thank you. Can't you just tell them that you've realised you've double booked or something? Perhaps I, I could be of assistance. Uh, Mary and I have tickets for an e event this evening. Mary's seen flashing lights, which she informs me is a precursor to a migraine. Ooh. The events. Oh, no, no, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, I love this man. <laughs> oh, right, well, I, I shall retrieve the tickets. Hmm. Is it a band? I mean, I, I can't see that Mary and Roy have the same taste in music as you. It's got to be better than ping pong. Aidan, I'm texting you. Got to bail Roy yeah. out. Send. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we meet here at five? Mm. I have to say, I'm, I'm pleased you're coming. These experiences are, are better shared. Five, it isn't. Mm. Oh, how much was ticket? No, no, I paid some time ago. And there promised to be some extremely close games. Chess. <laughs> no, we'd have known. That's what I said. Well, what did Rob actually say to him? I don't know. How would I know? No, he's, he's lying. He's, he's, he's just looking for something to blackmail Johnny with. Well, there's got to be something in it, otherwise Johnny would have told Rob to get lost. I mean... Oh, God, Paul. Oh, God, Paul. Please don't tell no. me that I was married no, to my... No, no, no. Listen, OK? Then... Johnny's dad's second cousin, so that makes you and Paul... He like... has done nothing all these years. Nothing except watch me being dragged up by that waste of skin and bone that was my mother. Then it, as soon as he, he's forced to fork out money, he turns up like some backstreet Darth Vader. I'm your dad. They said I could come through. Oh, did she? Well, she had no right. What do you want, eh? What have you come to tell me now? I've come to tell you... I'll find a way to make it right, I swear. <laughs> right, but you can start by admitting that you don't know for sure. And you should have checked that Rob wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. You don't know that. DNA test says I do. You took my DNA? I had to be sure. I didn't want to put you through something... You took my DNA? Get out, Johnny. Oh, please. Get out! Otherwise, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to tell everybody what you've done. Carla, I'm so sorry. <laughs>